to Spain, where residents on the island of Mallorca are set to protest today against the impact of record levels of tourism. Spain has seen a number of demonstrations across different cities in recent weeks, with locals arguing they're being priced out of housing and that visitor numbers are damaging the local culture and environment. Our Europe correspondent Nick Beek sent us this report from Mallorca. British tourists are throwing themselves into their summer Spanish getaways, escaping the weather back home. The beaches of Magaluf packed with record numbers. Tourism is powering the national economy as the good times roll. Down the road, the same sand, but a very different experience. Sonia and son Luca can't find anywhere to live. She says many homes are bought up by foreign visitors or rented out to tourists at prices she can't afford. It's hard to get up every morning and start looking for a flat. The prices are higher every day. I stop people in the street and ask if they have anything because the day is approaching when I will have to leave the apartment. I see me and my son homeless soon because there is absolutely nothing. As Spain's tourist hotspots have grown and grown over the decades, the debate has raged as to whether the millions of visitors bring more problems than they do benefits. But this summer, it feels like something has changed. There's this new level of anger, with many locals saying that they've had enough. In Barcelona, a fortnight ago, locals squirted visitors with water pistols. One of a number of recent protests across Spain. Get out of our streets was the chant. We can see the port and we can see how some days are arriving like 12,000 of people at the same time to the city. Back in Mallorca, local activist Pere Joan is organizing a demonstration this weekend. He wants a limit on visitor numbers and rejects the claim that tourism brings great wealth for the locals. This is a fake argument because we see like the last years is arriving more tourists than ever, more money than ever, but this money where it goes is going to the people or is going only to some economic powers? And this is what we are seeing. Yay! The Green family from Rotherham hope oh, they're boosting the local economy. Tourists don't boost it and make the money to what it is for this sort of players. But it is, isn't it? So, I, no, I don't see a problem. People travel around the world, don't they? And that's what these sort of places are for, aren't they? For tourism, economy and all the rest of it. So. Well, if no-one turned up, then there'd be no shops here. There'd be no jobs, there'd be no wages, there'd be no, no, no wages, there'd be no, no, wouldn't there? So, yeah. Tourism has bounced back after COVID, but record levels are creating new problems and provoking what could be an unprecedented backlash. Nick Beek, BBC News, Mallorca.